Hey you guys, it's Peter and welcome to my channel. Peter! Boom, 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 boom. Bam! Review your stuff and I am back for another review video. And if you didn't watch my Peter Does Stuff channel today, um, video from my Peter, if you didn't watch my video from my Peter Does Stuff channel today, <laughs> do you remember those, those car, uh, cartoons that they used to have back in the day where they have the bouncing balls that uh, went along with the words and then you would sing the words? Do you guys remember that back in the day? I do, because I'm that old. But anyway, I did a Costco and a Aldi haul. So, I purchased some things from Aldi that I thought would be kind of fun to review over here. And one of the things that I found at Aldi were these apple cider drinks. Not hard cider. Anytime I drink like apple cider or I review any kind of apple cider, there's always that one person that's like, Peter, that's hard cider. And hard cider has alcohol in it. And you're an alcoholic in recovery. It's like apple cider, okay? That like four year olds drank for Halloween, okay? Not hard cider like the alcohol, okay? Family friendly over here. So anyway, get with it. But the reason why I went to Aldi to begin with was my cousin wanted to get, well, I mentioned it to my cousin and she was like, well, there's some things I wanna get so we can go to Aldi. But I had a friend of mine that told me that there was all this pumpkin spice stuff there. Woo! And I was like, oh my God, there's all this pumpkin spice stuff at Aldi. There was some, there was some stuff, but there wasn't like tons. And so I was like, well, I could do another pumpkin spice haul right in time for Halloween. I think the pumpkin spice hauls have come and gone for Halloween. I think the pumpkin spice reviews over on this channel, they are done for the year. Okay, I don't think there's gonna be any more pumpkin spice reviews for the year over on this channel. I think their time has come and gone. I have reviewed enough pumpkin spice stuff to the point that I'm kind of getting, I'm ready for Christmas. Like, let's just be for real, okay? On my Peter Does Stuff channel, I watched all the Friday the 13th movies. I also, uh, on the Peter Does Stuff channel, we're watching all the Halloween movies. I have three movies left out of 13 to watch before Halloween. I think I'm gonna make it, okay? Um, I have done so many Halloween-y things this year. I have the mums, I have the pumpkins. I bought, I, last night I started watching the Spirit Halloween movie. You can watch it on AMC for free. Um, I've been doing so many Halloween things this year. I'm like ready for Christmas now, okay? I'm kind of... Come, listen, next Wednesday, come next Wednesday, November 1st, it's Christmas in this house. I already have the Christmas comforter washed, the Christmas sheets washed. I'm ready to put up the Christmas tree. I am ready for Christmas. I am usually not ready for Christmas this early, but this year, I feel like I have lived my Halloween dream and I am ready for Christmas. And one of the things that's gonna come with Christmas is that I'm getting rid of the pumpkin spice, okay? I'm, I'm like done with the pumpkin spice. I love pumpkin spice. But I've had pumpkin spice everything this year, including the Dumpkin Spice uh, dude, dude Wipes. So it's time, it's time to move on to a new phase, okay? Maybe the eggnog phase. Peter, eggnog has not that kind of eggnog, okay? You can go buy cartons of eggnog at the grocery store that does not have alcohol in it. Them haters out there always trying to get me. But anyway, I was at Aldi the other day. What do y'all think of Aldi? I'm not real impressed with the Aldi, I just have to tell you, okay? Like, first of all, my cousin, my, my good Judy, all my friends love the Aldi. Oh my God, they love it so much. I don't think the prices in there are that great of a deal. First of all, I can never really find what I'm looking for in there, number one. Number two, I don't think their prices are that great. Like, if you buy all generic stuff in there, then sure, okay? But, like, they have a lot of, like, name brand stuff in there that's the same price as everywhere else. People are like, oh, my God, you saved so much money at Aldi. Do you? I'm not really that convinced. I'm not that thrown out with the Aldi, okay? But I know as soon as I say that, that's, like, a really unpopular opinion. People will be like, oh, my God, I love the Aldi so much. Well, love it, love it. I'm just not that impressed with it. I actually think the Fresh Time is cheaper than the Aldi. But anyway... So I went there to go find this pumpkin spice stuff, right? Well, one of the things that I found was this. Now, the brand is called Nature's Nectar, and it is this pumpkin spice apple cider. Now, if you've seen me, let me put this down a little bit. Well, that's okay. If you've seen me review these very similar kind of sparkling juice drinks from Trader Joe's, do these not look like complete knockoffs of that? Like the dupes. These look like the dupes, okay, in the makeup world. But this is the, this is the sparkling juice dupes, okay? So these are cans of apple cider. When I first saw it, I thought they were like Keurig cups. And I was like, oh my God, pumpkin spice apple hot apple cider. Oh my Lord, oh my God, girl. So anyway, I was so excited about it. But then I realized it was the cans. And they almost look exactly like the boxes from Trader Joe's. Don't they look almost exactly like the boxes? So I got the uh, sparkling fresh pumpkin spice apple cider. And I will tell you that this has 170 calories per can. 
And then, hold on a second, there's four cans in here. Where are the other things on here? Okay. Zero fat, zero cholesterol, zero sodium, 43 grams of carbs, zero protein. Okay, so I got this one, but then I also got just the regular sparkling fresh apple cider. So it's like a sparkling apple cider. I thought that'd be real fun for watching all the Halloween movies this week. Get, get all the Halloween out, right? And then I also got the sparkling fresh cranberry apple cider. Now I have to tell you, okay, go, going into these reviews, I kind of always have a feeling uh, well, I should probably get a, a, a thumbnail first, shouldn't I? Okay, let's get a thumbnail going on first. <laughs> How do I do these thumbnails? Okay. Okay, so I always kind of have an idea going into these reviews. <laughs> There's my workout for the day. I always kind of have an idea going to these reviews of what I'm going to think of it, you know? So this is what I think. Now, what? And then I'm always completely wrong, right? I think that the sparkling fresh apple cider, just the plain apple cider, I think it'll just be okay. I think I'll be like, oh, it tastes like apple cider that's sparkling. It's, it's fine. It's good, right? I think the pumpkin spice apple cider will be too much. And I think I'll actually love the cranberry apple cider, even though it's the one that I'm least excited about. The one that I'm the most excited about actually is the pumpkin spice apple cider, even though I'm kind of over the pumpkin spice. I'm kind of really excited to try this and see what it's going to taste like. But I have a feeling the one that I'm going to like the most is the cranberry apple cider. So we'll save that one for last. Okay, now I did not chill any of these. So uh, yeah, they're not chilled. They're warm. Um, that goes against so when you open it oh they're kind of big cans i thought they'd be really like, well small cans they're like coke cans when you open it so here's what they look like yeah they're big cans i think they were like 349 or 399 um for a pack of these so that's not too bad so this is the apple this is the sparkling fresh apple cider let's try this one and see what i think okay it smells like apple juice Smells like sparkling apple juice. Well, it doesn't smell like sparkling, it just smells like apple juice. I think it says on here somewhere, well, that's pretty good. 100% contains 100% juice. No, no artificial flavors. That's good. Ooh, I like this. I mean, it's 170 calories, but a lot of juices are high in calories, right? I really like this. I like it more than I thought I would. I'm surprised about this. Like, I would definitely get this again. Oh, this is easily a 10 out of 10. I'm really impressed with this. I kind of like this better than the Trader Joe's ones. Because it's more juice and less sparkling. But enough sparkling that it kind of tastes like a carbonated drink, but not too much. The Trader Joe's ones are really, really sparkling. Oh, I'm impressed with that. Maybe it was a little sweeter. Maybe a little bit sweeter. I'm gonna give it a nine out of 10, not a 10 out of 10. I said easily a 10 out of 10. Well, now that I've thought on it, I'm gonna give it a, a nine out of 10. But I'm impressed with that. Nine out of 10 for the regular apple cider. Okay, let's try the pumpkin spice apple cider. I think the cans are cute too, don't you? Okay. So here's the pumpkin spice one. It's orange. It has a little pumpkin on it with an apple and stuff. They are kind of giving me very Trader Joe's kind of, aren't they? A little bit. Okay. Now this one, is it the same kind of nutritional facts? 170 calories. Yeah, everything is exactly the same. Let's smell it. Ooh, very heavy on the pumpkin spice. I don't smell apple at all. All I smell is pumpkin spice. Very interesting. Hmm. Okay. It reminds me of mulled cider from back in the day when I was growing up as a kid, where my mom would have like all the spices in there, like the clove and the nutmeg and the cinnamon and everything. That's what it tastes like. It smells a lot like pumpkin spice, but it tastes like a mulled cider. It's kind of got a thicker, heavier taste because of that. I think this would be fun to have like one at a party, like a glass of eggnog, non-alcoholic. But 
or do you if you want to put alcohol in it? But I don't know that I would want it. Like these, the apple ones, the regular ones, I could drink regularly. Like I could probably have one of these a night while I was watching a show. I think maybe after like four of these and one of these little cases, I think I'd be done with it. So, it's not bad, but I just wouldn't want a ton of it. So based just on this one, I'll give it an eight out of 10. But yeah, like I wouldn't want tons of them. They're not bad. Okay. Now let's try the cranberry apple cider. I have to tell you, I'm a huge fan of cranberry anything, so. I'm really impressed with these cans. I think these cans are, their whole, their marketing is so cute. See, it's like an apple, and then it has all these cranberries on it, sitting on a chair. Is it the same nutritional facts? Same nutritional facts, okay. Oh, it just went over my computer. Mmm. Mmm. This is my least favorite. Isn't that how it always says on my reviews? What I think is never what ends up happening. I mean, I can taste the cranberry in it, but the cranberry almost kind of just makes it taste like... Like bad apple juice. I don't, I can't even drink the rest of this. I don't like that at all. That's a two out of 10. And the two is because of the idea of cranberry and apple together and the marketing of the cup. That's it. I wouldn't, I would never get that again. I can't even drink that. I don't like that. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I like just plain cranberry juice too. That's interesting. So the winner is the apple, the sparkling fresh apple cider. And the brand is Nature's Nectar. Right here, Nature's Nectar. So hard to see the light on my computer, isn't it? <laughs> Nature's nectar. Um, the winner is just the regular apple cider. For a fun weekend, the pumpkin spice apple cider, and for never, <laughs> the cranberry apple cider. Anyway, let me know. Um, let me know your favorite things to get at Aldi in the comment section below. I love you guys so much, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.